Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Tucson guys. You have check engine light on in any of the following two codes such as code P0014 or code P0015. Stay with us, we'll explain guys what can cause that and how to fix it. Now, it could be multiple things but we'll explain some of the most common ones and in some cases you may not even almost spend any money to fix it. That should work on multiple generations and engines uh, that uh, Hyundai Tucson uses but we'll be demonstrating on a 2.4 GDI engine. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So this specifically, as we said, is a 2.4 GDI engine. Now, before we start, guys, uh, uh, many of you have asked me in the comment section below to share information about diagnostic tool that we use here at the shop and what we recommend. That's the one, guys. Okay, I'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the price and the features. Uh, it works on almost any car you can think of. Hyundai is right here. Uh, but it's a tool that can pay itself off practically in one-time use. So, with that being said, now, when you open the hood of your Hyundai Tucson, you need to identify where the intake manifold is that's where the engine will be getting its air and fuel from and where the exhaust manifold is usually unless you have a turbo engine in some cases but in most cases the intake is on one side uh, exhaust is on the other side then looking that way you will know that the intake camshaft is on this side under the valve cover the exhaust is on this side so you need to come to the exhaust side guys okay and you need to locate that solenoid right here what is that solenoid this is known as a variable timing solenoid guys okay vvt solenoid for the exhaust side if you have any of these codes what do you need to look for number one thing guys you need to make sure that the connector is plugged in and the wire is not broken anywhere number two make sure the connector is not contaminated with oil okay from leaking valve cover or being wet number three it could be guys okay a bad vvt solenoid we have a special video that explains how to test it and how to clean it because 90 percent of the time you can actually guys okay fix those by cleaning them and testing them if they're good or bad now uh, in some cases it could be a bad solenoid itself in other cases it could be guys even if you're using the wrong kind of engine oil an oil filter if you don't or use the uh, approved oil filter and engine oil that can affect it as well uh, make sure you have enough engine oil in the engine and make sure that you use the same viscosity that it asks for for instance that engine wants 5w20 engine oil now let's say you clean it you test it you still get these codes you even replace it with a new solenoids you still get these codes that's bad news why due to the fact that it's very likely you have a bad camshaft sprocket okay that needs to be replaced or you have problems with the timing chain could be stretch timing chain or broken timing chain iron guys those are some of the most common things that we see here at the shop hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time